Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Coffee with Carl. Today was actually a request. So what we're going to cover is how to individually lock certain items within the Got Photo system using price profiles. Is going on guys all right so today we had a special request and it is really how to specifically lock a price profile to either a product or uh, to a group or something of that nature so what I did was I just created this price lock test if you guys need help uh, creating jobs in got photo I can definitely help with that uh, but today we're going to go a little more in depth. So what I'm going to do is show you, I created three different albums. Now this is going to be for the same child. I've got just fluff photos in here. So, uh, don't take any notice of that. Obviously I've got, you know, my, my elephant deer and, and rabbits from, from that talk. So, but you'll notice the access code is the exact same in my standard as it is in my custom okay so when I go back out to my settings I can set a global price profile for all of these albums in the gallery now you'll also notice I have a, an albums here called coaches photos and it's just a couple team photos that's it there's no individuals this is strictly for teams so if I want to give access to those coaches I can and so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go into so the standard I want to be the original uh, price profile so that soccer 2022 now when I go back into my custom, I want this to change because these are cooler photos, we've done more work to them, what have you. So what I'm going to do is come over here to edit album settings and you'll notice this override standard price profile. All right, so I'm gonna put this on to my custom products price profile. And then I'm going to save that. All right. You're going to notice that this populates in a different color, notifying you right away that you're using a different price profile. Now, personally, I like to drag whatever products I want to showcase first ahead because then they're going to showcase in the job. So I've already got this job selling. So I want to show you guys what this looks like. So I'm just going to pop in here to this album. And you'll notice when I go to the access code, it actually shows you that this access code has photos in each of these folders. So if I go to the quick login, all right, so I'm going to notice here's my photos. When I order photos, because I've got the two different albums, they're here. Okay. So what I want to show you though is I actually have these at different price profiles. So my two five by sevens here is $15 for my custom. Now, if I go back to my standard, that is a cool photo. Let's be honest. I'll give you guys the link. You can purchase all you want. So <laughs> my two five by sevens here is $10 and if you remember the custom was 15 so this is how I'm able to customize that now let's go back into our shop settings so if I go to settings and I go to price profile let's say I know magnets are a big thing and I know some people just want to offer a magnet for certain products so if I create a new price profile and I call it magnet 
and I add I add a magnet if I can find it let's say 5 by 7 magnet we'll go ahead and add that go back to set prices we're just gonna say $12 that's fine so now we'll go back into our job now let's say all I want to offer on this custom are magnets that's it nothing else no digital downloads uh, no, nothing just magnets so I go back to el edit album settings and I'm looking for that price profile we just created called magnet I save I'm gonna delete that one out so I'm gonna go back to custom you can go to standard you're just trying to get logged in okay so now what I'm gonna do is go order my photos now when I click on this the only product is a magnet okay so if you are creating an 8x10 crop for a custom product and you don't want to cut off the names only offer 8x10 products if you don't want that memory mate to be printed on a dog tag don't offer dog tags and then just override your price profile so that way oops in your standard you can offer a dog tag here but not for your custom okay so something else that you can do that is interesting uh, same, same concept with the coaches photos right so you just you, you tag an access code this and then you only offer to the group so you only offer uh, in the price profile you're gonna offer an 8x10 group photo or a digital or whatever you want to offer okay now something else that a lot of people don't realize you can do is this global access code all right so if i want to give coach access to every photo in the gallery all i have to do is go there oops that one's already used in another job so let's go uh coach 23 All right, and we're just gonna log out of here. Now I'm gonna type in coach23, and this is great for demo jobs. So now they're gonna see every photo in here. So they're gonna see the customs for every child, standard for every child, and then here's the coach's photos. Now, if you remember right, the coaches photos do not have an access code but this global access code overrides that every time so if a, if a director needs to look at the photos approve the photos that's really the way to go now the one thing I would warn you do not do a download all because when they have access to everything and they do a download all for $95 or $100 or whatever you guys have it set for, they will be able to download everything for that amount. So again, just be careful with that. So hopefully this helps. I know this little nugget here with the album actions and uh, overriding that price profile was a gold nugget for me and hopefully that'll help you be able to customize some of your price profiles and, and what you're able to offer. So if you guys have any questions, you know where to get me. See y'all soon.